Are you going to put the other hand down? Yeah. The other has a What's up, guys? All right, Brad Sanders is here. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, new senators. I know this is your first general body meeting. Round, quick round of applause for Stephen Sparaza, Justin Azeem, Keegan Carraway, and Jenna Friedberg for winning the It's going to be a good year. I'm looking forward to working with all of you. Um, we'll talk about committee requirements later in this meeting. Many of you have already joined the different Senate committees, and it's been great to see you put your work at this point. We're all looking forward to having you on board. So without further ado, does anybody here still not have a polo with them? All right. Vidovich, I'm going to ask you to put your polo on. Everybody, we are going to be going outside to take the Senate photo. Um, so let's just go. <laughs> now we're going to be heading outside the, like, towards the horseshoe. We're going to line up right in front of the Rensselaer Union logo. So guys, guys, as some of you may have noticed in my email, I left a certain sentence vague. Um, nothing shows unity and professionalism more than complete sentences, but nothing encourages unity and professionalism more than free candy. There will be candy given out like this at every meeting if you are wearing your polo. So bring your polos to every meeting. It looks good. It shows that we're unified in front of any administrators or guests that we have speaking. And you will also get candy. Sound good? Okay. So. With that on our plate, we have two motions to get through today before we get to the light walk. Listen up, Paul. Everyone over there taking a selfie. We have two motions to get through today. First year, pay attention here. So the student senate, um, the student senate is the legislative body of the student union, as you may be aware by now. The way we pass this legislation is via motions. Motions are typically given out at the start of a meeting. They must be signed and seconded by senators in order to in order to move to become to become you know, passed. We, have to, we then proceed to talk about the motion, to discuss, debate, and at the end of the discussion, there will be a vote. Make sense? So you must be a senator, or you must, represent a, you must represent a council that has previously voted to move something to the Senate in order to bring a motion to the floor. So our first motion tonight, the Rensselaer Union 45th Student Senate approved the minutes for September 15th, 2014, and September 22nd, 2014. So moved by Justin Etzine and seconded by Mason, Mason Cooper. Do we have any questions? Any discussion? My goal keep it cute. OK, seeing none, we will move right to vote. Once again, the Rensselaer Union 45th Student Senate approves the minutes for September 15th, 2014, and September 22nd, 2014. So moved by Justin, seconded by Mason. All those in favor? Next up, um, we have a ceremonial motion. How many of you have met Dr. Sands in your time here? Dr. Sands has been the VP for Student Life um, for Rensselaer for the past few years. Um, in my time here, I've worked with him a number of times. A lot of us have. And he is resigning from his position in the next couple weeks. He's going to another college. I believe it's Meriwether. Morehouse. Morehouse. Thank you. Okay, he's going to Morehouse, where he'll be. He'll be ta he's taking up a higher role. So it's a great career transition for him. There's going to be a reception this. Um, there's going to be a reception this Wednesday from two to four in Russell Sage Dining Hall, where students, staff, and faculty alike are invited to thank him for everything he's done. And that's what this motion is. So the Rensselaer Union 45th Student Senate, in recognition of the impending departure of Dr. Timothy Sands, Vice President for Student Life, whereas Dr. Sands has remained a dedicated supporter for student rights, student initiatives, student leadership, and the RPI student experience, 
Whereas Dr. Sams has taken immense strides to ensure equality in student representation and to give students every opportunity to have their voices heard. Whereas Dr. Sams has been an approachable, friendly, highly regarded professional and personal advocate for all students, resolves to recognize and honor Dr. Sams for his contributions to the quality of student life and the rights and well-being of the student body. The student senate thanks Dr. Sams for his advocacy, approachability, and dedication, and which wishes him the best of luck in all his future endeavors. Do we have any questions? Yeah, you uh, I'm not sure. Uh, just wondering what what the reason for the so many wear as is were. Things you like enjoy or is that not a problem? Say that again. I was just wondering about the the gram for choices to wear as is. It's a standard motion, yeah. Oh, it's like mm -hmm. procedure. Oh. It was going to be just asking the same question, so for clarification, since it seems kind of stupid, that's the only one. Mm -hmm. yeah, any, <laughs> any further questions? All right, seeing so, you none, know, we move to vote. Does anyone want me to reread the whole thing again? Mike, uh -huh. <laughs> put your hand. No, I'll, I'll reread it. Bear with me, everybody. Okay. The Rensselaer Union 45th Student Senate, in recognition of the impending departure of Dr. Timothy Sams, Vice President for Student Life, whereas Dr. Sams has remained a dedicated supporter for student rights, student initiative, student leadership, and the RPI student experience, whereas Dr. Sams has taken immense strides to ensure equality in student representation and give students every opportunity to have their voices heard, whereas Dr. Sams has been an approachable, friendly, highly regarded professional and personal advocate for all students, resolves to recognize and honor Dr. Sams for his contributions to the quality of student life and the rights and well-being of the student body. The student center thanks Dr. Sams for his advocacy, approachability, and dedication, and wishes him the best of luck in all his future endeavors. So moved by Lexi Rindoni and seconded by Shoshana Rubenstein. All those in favor? All opposed? Motion passes, 1901. Last one added up the plan was the one. It was two abstains. If it was 19, it was 19. Okay, who have further? For a point of information, who abstained on the last motion? Okay, then we have 1903. I'm going to pass this motion around. Um, I'd like all of us, or at least any all, all who are willing to sign, this is going to be presented to Dr. Sams at the reception this Wednesday. So we're going to start over here. When it gets to the end, Mason, can you go over and pass it to Vitovich to continue it around? Thank you. So that was a long motion, and that was ceremonial. Most of the motions we go through here will detail student appointments or the projects being worked on in the various committees. Hopefully that gave you a brief introduction to how parliamentary procedure works here. All right, so next up, on before we get to our presentation for the evening, I want to go into our committee reports to get them out of the way. After our presentation, we're going to be segueing right into the to the light walk itself. So we're going to start with the rules of elections. We have new Senate babies. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> elections are over, um, and so we're going to start meeting regularly. Uh, we're going to we're, right now we're figuring out when we can all meet at the same time. So that is to be announced. And um, we'll be working on a referendum signing policy goals in the county voting. Anything else? Okay, thank you. Uh, Marcus AC. Uh, okay, so for the syllabus project, we're contacting department heads to start organizing the syllabi, and we're contacting web services to see where the syllabi will be hosted. Mentoring project, we're designing an integrated system between ALAC and ANS to 
pilot, and the pilot's going to be within the main department. And by main, the mechanical air is basically nuclear engineering. Academic representation, we're contacting department societies uh, to get input on their roles. Research opportunities, uh, peer institutes have a system in place which should make it a very uh, pleasing system for us to present in the future to future uh, faculty and administrators. And we're contacting the VP of research regarding other research projects. Do you have a meeting set up with the VP of research? Uh, working on it. Okay, thank you. Michael, let us see. The most important thing that happened this week, um, we took back pet friendly housing. Um, okay! So we have, uh, we have eight projects on our docket right now. Um, so any help from freshman senators? That We're at Arizona at, though. We're working on it. Um, any help from freshman senators that would like to help would be greatly appreciated. Um, as far as most of the projects are going pretty well, I'm meeting with Alice Silva not this Thursday, but next Thursday. So um, some of the projects are going to be a little bit slower than usual, but I'm going to just have an email conversation with them before the meeting to kind of see what can be done um, before we meet in person. Um, besides that, I'm going to have friendly housing. Woo! <laughs> All right, thank you, Michael. Joe, H. Sack. Okay. So we last Tuesday for our first meeting, we aired out some student, I guess we would call them ideas, all the meetings is a better word. Anyway, uh, we meet again tomorrow at 6 p.m. to um, sort through everything we came up with to create uh, more solidified project ideas. Uh, on October 9th, we'll be meeting with uh, the very important people that work for Sodexo very soon. Um, Feel free to stop by tomorrow at 6 p.m. and help us out. Thank you, Joe. Lexi, SLC. Um, this past meeting, we uh, finalized some survey questions and kind of some project areas that we wanted to pursue within our three subcommittees. Also, Case and I had a meeting with Dean Schill, the Dean of Residence Life, um, about the specific issues regarding residence life that our committee came up with. So we're going to move forward by recruiting or trying to recruit some residence life members to our subcommittee, um, as well as trying to get Kyle to talk to Claude Browns about the current residence hall, residence hall renovations in Quad. So I'll let Paul do his um, committee report on the student policy group, but things are going well. Any questions? Okay. Uh, Paul, policy. Well, if we're out of saying Paul, we need to come to Paul policy. Um, we met. <laughs> we continued discussing increasing membership and reaching out to groups. Uh, we emailed the Student Athletics Advisory Council, maybe SAAC. And right now we're kind of just stuck since we can't really do that much until, because we can't really tell everybody to show up and have them come and then be like, hey, we don't have the document you told you to come here and look at, so we're kind of waiting for Dean Smith to well, send us the document one this time. We're chilling in the holiday inn. Okay, thank you, Paul. Um, Gabe, what's up? This week, we met with Alex De Silva for shuttles and transportation. He took over from Jason Jones. Um, they purchased, I think it was like two new shuttles over the summer, so now the hardware is transferred over for shuttle tracking. So we're trying to take inventory on that and get any replacements if they need it or fix any broken hardware. Also, today they did the uh, test of the emergency alert system and Concerto responded successfully. Uh, Carousel, we're still pending a response. Um, other than that, I'm working on a new feature with Flagship to support Google Drive and links. So when you create a Google Drive document, you get a link that you can share with everyone. Um, and if you can upload that, then it'll be a lot. So it'll be a lot quicker than uh, having like browser computer um, We'll be meeting tomorrow at eight o'clock in the SGS for anyone interested. Thank you, Gabe. Yep. Um, Morgan is not here for community relations, so we'll skip that. On um, constituent reports, then, Shoshana Ebon. Um, last week, the executive board approved money for the undergraduate council to buy binders to stuff with training materials for the incoming class that was recently elected. 
RMA was allowed to reallocate money for um, extra keys um, for their various storage rooms and J-building access, as well as uh, money towards um, a server and a scanner so that they can document their music as well as their video recordings of their performances. Um, and then lastly, a note for rules and elections. The MAP committee, which is marketing, advertising, and publicity, is looking at sign policy as well, particularly in the union, so you guys should coordinate. I'll give you the contact for Colton, who's in charge of that. Thank you, Shosh. Um, Kristen, grad council. Um, not much. You mean you guys next? We are ordering polos. <laughs> what color are they? They are black. Different. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, James, I have C. So, if anyone doesn't know, DKE is coming back. Not Teeks, but DKE. Uh, their equipment starts to return <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Geeks. Yeah. Uh, their recruitment starts October 5th and lasts about a month, and they're the only ones that are able to recruit during that time. Uh, they're going to have alumni coming to recruit. And Hazing Convention Week was last week. And also, we're still trying to make a Greek movie happen, but the school will not let us use any, uh, any like software or studios or anything like that to work it out. So, if anyone knows of anyone else, just tell us. And that's it. So, where were we decayed before? What was the last thing you said? Uh, so, we're trying to make a. So, the last question. We're trying to make a Greek movie just to show off Greek life at RPI. Oh, because you're not trying to watch it before? No. Okay. That would be really awesome. <laughs> we're trying to make a movie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but DKE, they used to be. I think an admissions building. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they were a frat here. They were yeah. a frat here. They had been on campus for a number of years. Around yeah. 14, 10, 10 years? Yes. Quite a few. Uh, and they're coming back now. I don't think they're allowed to be in admissions building or like to live there or anything like that. That's extra. Uh, but yeah, this is coming back and we're not going to return for them. So what are the requirements for someone to join? <laughs> so wait, guys. So what are the requirements for someone to join the student fraternity? Uh, I think you're being a graduate. Ooh, is that right? Is that that is part time? It's okay. Uh, I'm assuming that they have a minimum GPA, and uh, they probably want sophomore professional, but they would probably want juniors too. What? Are they have a house? They, I don't believe they have a house currently. I think they'll have a house in future years if they will not pay for it. They can save themselves for a couple of years. All right, any other questions for James? Okay, so with Morgan not here, we're going to move on to my report. Just a couple of reminders. We still have vacancies in the position of Senate Communications Chair, Independent Senator, and Graduate Senator. So if you're interested in any of those, please apply. Um, just shoot me an email, and I'll schedule a time to interview you. I make appointments for all three of those positions. Graduate Senator, of course, this would be referred to the Graduate Council. Um, as I said before, there's a campus reception for Dr. Sands this Wednesday from 2 to 4 p.m. This is open to anybody to attend. If you've known him or have worked with him, I would encourage you to, you to be there. Even if not, it, it'll be a, a good time. It's a nice honor to give him showing up, just kind of thanking him for everything he's done. It's in Sage. It's upstairs in Sage Dining Hall. Is that wrong, Jeff? I think it's an alumni house. If it was moved, I was told to say this one. Okay, well, I'll I'll get the final thing. I'll get the final location out on later tonight or early tomorrow. All right. So with that, we're going to move on to Michael Hahn, who's presenting about the Senate Light Walk. Thank you. This please. Do I just like? Are you set for dual screen? Uh, I just switched the display. So I think yeah, it's better. Yeah. 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 
So we hold the light walk every year. This is our Senate picture from last year. Um, and then we went to the light walk like right after that. So the light walk is a yearly event we hold every semester. We go uh, every every year. We walk around um, walk around different parts of campus and a little bit off campus to figure out um, what kind of things are going on um, as far as public safety goes. And also is a great opportunity for the freshman senators to get to know um, the senators that have been here for a year, two years, three years, etc. Um, nice. Things to look out for while you're walking out on the streets. Um, so I talked to Lieutenant Norton, who is who works in the Department of Public Safety, and she asked to look out for uh, street lamps, whether they're dim or broken, um, cracked sidewalks or pavements, crosswalks, um, broken stoplights or um, like crosswalk signs. Um, I know we had an issue with that last year. Um, trees or bushes or any kind of like shrubbery blocking the sidewalk. Um, pretty much uh, if an area kind of seems like sketchy, um, I put a thing for that in the form. And anything else that might kind of impede students from walking along the sidewalk safely. So um, maybe there's like a giant like bunch of boxes in the way or something, I don't know. Uh, next. Uh, so what happens afterwards, we, so what we're going to do is while you're out there, you're going to fill out a Google form. Um, you can access it on your form. I included the link here. It's pretty easy to get to. Um, and uh, we, it's going to get all combined into a Google spreadsheet. And then from there, we just give it to um, Lieutenant Norton. And she said she would meet with her chief and assistant chief. And they would go over like how it affects um, how they're going to do daily patrols at night. And also, they want to be able to compare like how many lights are broken on the RPI side versus like the public city of Troy side. Um, so we want to keep count of all of those. Uh, next. So um, these are the routes. Um, so the first route is mainly through campus. I just assigned these like with the list of senators we just ran as assigned. Um, so the one, the person in bold is whoever's the FSC member or cabinet member in charge. Um, doesn't mean you have to listen to them, but yeah. Um, so this is the first route. Um, so we're going to be going through campus and down to like Blitman and then just covering most of campus. Next route is Route B is up to ECAV. So um, and I included a link to like go to all these pictures too. Um, so you go up to ECAV. I uh, generally check the or check the general like wraps stack area. Um, wraps B, I believe, right? This is Wraps B or Wraps A. B. Okay, Raps B. Oh, it says right there. Um, and then up to Colony and down for that. Next one is um, the 15th Street um, route. So you go like kind of towards the alumni house. And those dots mean that since uh, it's a group of four, you're going to split into groups of two. And then so like split here and then meet back here. And then the next one is. Um, Starting from the Union, you go down to um, where, like, this is the route I was on last year, I believe. Um, you go down to Tibbetts, so that's where, like, the stoplight is. So this is, like, Troy High right here. You go down, you split off here, and then you go up to Sunset, and then through ECAB and back to the Union. Uh, the next one, um, this is where, where all the grad senators are because they're lazy and they wanted to, um, they want you to go straight home right afterwards. So this is the uh, 15th Street, and, um, this, so this is like Pizza Bella right here. So this is like the Pizza Bella area, I like to call it. So I live like right there too. Um, next is, um, the last route is Beeman Park area. So um, it goes like kind of past the alumni house, but you don't have to cover that because uh, we're going to cover it in the campus route. Um, and then these are the two links. So the form, <clears throat> you can just type that in. It's pretty easy. Uh, I made it easy on purpose. And then if you don't know what your route is, you just, it's LW routes. Um, so. Yeah, you can go on that and fill out the Google form to figure out where you're going. Any questions? Yes. Does Leslie Martin part of um, like Troy Police Department or uh, like Pub Safe? Pub Safe. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. Um, yeah, Joe. I'll keep you. I don't know if my cancers or cardiac cancers. Do you want us to reconvene here after the light walk? Or you don't have to. Okay. Thank you. And when you're done, you can just go home. Yeah. 
Yes. For Chris. Um, how do you mark what street lamp is? So, um, if you look at the form, there I've included like a description. I, there's also like a specific location box. So if you put like the street it's on, and also on the street lamps, there's a number that should be on it. Um, on both the RPI ones and the uh, City of Troy ones. So if you include that, that helps too. But if you just give the general area, um, they should be able to figure out if it's out or not, like when they're actually checking to verify the info. Yes? I'm sorry if you already covered this, but um, since we are going to be on the streets of our City of Troy, do we also acknowledge if like the um, crosswalks aren't well marked? Yeah. Like that? Mm -hmm. okay. Sure. Uh, doesn't have a stoplight anymore. Um, okay. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, the one that's like it's so don't, like. Don't keep arguing with stop mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Any other questions? Connor, yeah. um, who is Lieutenant Norton? She's a, she works in public safety. Did you just your title? Lieutenant. Lieutenant. <laughs> Her name is Lieutenant Leslie Norton. <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> Any other questions, comments? Okay, then I think we know what to do. Everyone find your group leader. Thank you, Michael, if you have any questions about the